Hello everyone, today I want to show you some preschool learning activities for kids ages two to four years old approximately. Um, so here I have um, my new shelves that I have for the kids. And I got these shelves in Michael's Arts and Crafts store. Um, I got them on July 4th. Uh, I got them for a good deal. They were 50% off. Um, and they were about $29.99. Um, I got the bins at Lakeshore Learning. So here I have the work area for my almost one year old, five year old, and three year old. So let me go ahead and share with you guys today our preschool one here for the three year old. So I always have some type of sensory bin at the top. I've showed a video of their wonderful dinosaur sensory bin that they are absolutely loving. Um, here I have uh, some kinetic sand. Oh my God, kinetic sand is so amazing. In fact, I'm gonna make a video just on kinetic sand. Here I have some strawberry shortcake dolls for my three-year-old, a little scoop, a little bowl, and she will have so much fun with this. You guys will not even believe. She will spend hours playing with those dolls in the kinetic sand. Okay, so let's start with the first bin here. So here we have um, some art appreciation cards, and these are different um, paintings. And basically, my three-year-old is going to just be matching the paintings. They're going to be out of order, and she's going to be matching. Um, and then, you know, she needs to find the correct, see the horse and the horse. So at, as the child is doing matching, their matching skills, they are also learning about arts. These are wonderful paintings that the child will be learning about. She's not learning the names yet. She's just learning matching as of right now. The second step will be learning the names of these paintings. So very simple. This is a nice art appreciation activity. Here we have a math activity. And so I got this at the dollar store. I got this at the dollar store, little spinner. So she spins the little spinner there, whatever it lands on, if it lands on three, she takes her chopstick with a chopstick aid right here. I'll post a link in the description box where you can get these little aids. And she just takes and she puts the quantity. One, two, this is good one-to-one -one correspondence practice. Also good for fine motor skills as they are working strengthening those little hands here and she goes on and on spinning and putting the different amounts here so when she's done she put these she puts these back and starts all over again so that's a good number quantity activity for young ones that helps with fine motor skills development as well and one-to-one -one correspondence okay let's go on to the next thing here here we have a sorting activity and this sorting activity is pretty simple sorting by color but at the same time, the child is also learning language. So, wagon goes here, red wagon, green frog. We talked about the names, sun. Sometimes I'll have her say them in different languages that we're learning. Bird, pájaro. And go, she goes on and on, sorting them by color and also learning the names of these objects. So this activity is good for language development and also for sorting. Sorting is a precursor to math and to many other subjects um, that the child will need to master later on. I'll post a link in the description box where you can get this uh, printable. Um, it comes with a sorting, uh, as, as a part of a sorting pack for children. Okay, moving on here. Here we have another one and this is learning her letter sounds, practicing her letter sounds. So she just takes the letters and um, j, j, jar, for example, b, b, ball. She has to find the beginning letter sound for each of the pictures. So let's see here, k, k, kite. She goes on and on until she's finished with all the letters. H, h, house. And there's another side to this as well. And I'll see if I can post something on the description box where you can get this for free. I found this somewhere online for free. Here we have another one. And um, this one is with this wonderful puzzle that I will link below in the description box as well. And it has three letter words. And they were to put the puzzle together. How does it go? P. E. G. So they put it together. The three piece Three pieces. Three-piece puzzles, they put it together, and then they go over the letter sounds. P, 
Pig. What does that say? Pig. And there's all types. Car. There's dog. There's bug. There is fox. Those are the ones I put in there today. And it serves as a good, putting the puzzles together, good um, logic. And also going over the letter sounds and working on those pre-reading skills. Okay, moving on to the next activity here. We have a number quantity activity. I got these mats from the dollar store. These are fish bowls, and it comes from 1 through 10. And then I have these counters, um, and I also have some poker chips in here. So the child is going to practice number quantity and one-to-one -one correspondence as they are practicing counting. Taking the counters here. One, two, two fish going on and on like this one two three three fish so this is great uh, number quantity practice counting practice and one-to-one -one correspondence as they are putting one counter on each of the fish okay this one's a really simple one and again you can get these mats at the Dollar Tree and last but not least, my favorite activity of the week with these Safari LTD babies. Safari LTD sent us these, and they are so wonderful and realistic little babies here. Um, my kids have been absolutely loving them. They're real, very realistic. My children have been using them in their dollhouses and just, just playing with them. They are so lovely. I like them because they're lead and phthalate free as well, so they're safe for children. Um, and what I did with these, um, I let them play with them, but I also created a, a fun learning activity for them. So let me show you here what we got. I had this little baby matching um, activity here. I laminated this mat. I'll post a link where you can get this for free so you can download it if you want to create it for your children. And I took pictures of the babies and I created this matching activity. My children have been absolutely loving this. So they go ahead and look at the baby and see where that baby is. Here it is. This is good visual discrimination. Visual discrimination is a very important skill to master um, later on for all subjects, including reading and math. And so this is a good way to practice visual discrimination for children. You can also start talking about the different colors that the babies have. Um, pink diaper. The baby's holding some green sheets. The baby is sitting, the baby is lying down, um, the baby is crawling. So you introduce different vocabulary for the children. And lastly, I play a little game with them that I love. Um, this is a little teddy bear that it comes with. And then I ask the child to play sort of like a language bingo. Um, so the child has to really listen carefully to what I am asking. So I would say, place this teddy bear on the baby that is lying down with a blue outfit sleeping which one is it here it is and they would find it now put this teddy bear next to the baby that has blocks that's holding on to blocks so they would find a baby that has blocks and put the little teddy bear next to it so sort of like language bingo um, put this teddy bear on the baby that is lying on their back with a pink diaper touching their toes let's see which one is it not this one is close, but it's not this one. They have to really focus on those uh, listening skills. It would be this one. So it's sort of like bingo. And my children have been loving this. Even my five-year-old absolutely loves it. Um, I'll post a link in the description box where you can get these Safari LTD babies. Um, I absolutely love Safari LTD. I've been using them for years. Uh, I create all types of activities with their um, figurines. So I'll post a link in the description box to uh, Safari LTD and where you can get those tubes, those babies. All right, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed the video of my preschool learning activities. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these activities. I, I don't know what you guys like seeing. Um, I'm, I have these activities. I change these trays out twice a week for my kids. So I usually have language, math, uh, literacy, uh, art, uh, science activities, all types of activities here. I change them out twice a week. Um, and, and it's a very uh, fun way for kids to learn hands-on activities. Uh, for more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.